Hey guys, welcome back to the Sarah vlog for my second video. Um, in case you haven't noticed, I've cut my hair, so it's a lot shorter than it used to be, and I really like it. It's really light. Currently, Hurricane Irma is going on behind me. Not fun. My friend Christina Equestrian, she recently posted a vlog about what we did to protect the ponies and all that. And I'm running out of video ideas. I don't have a whole lot of things to post because my mother does not want me showing my face. So I have to be very conservative. But I might be able to convince her to let me do it. And I'm thinking of doing like equestrian vlogs because that's a huge thing. And I really enjoy filming my rides. And I feel like you guys might enjoy that more. And you would get to know my horse, Lily. She's really cute. And. I don't know, just leave suggestions suggestions in the comments. I love to hear feedback from you guys. And one of my recent viewers from my last video suggested that I did a um, barn tour. I'd love to do that, and I really would, but it's not my barn because we board my horse somewhere else. And I feel like it'd be really invasive to just go in there and film their barn. And I, I know that they're not going to say yes because they're like really private and... <laughs> The barn owner like always scares me a little bit. Don't tell anyone that. Um, so that's why I won't do a barn tour. I would if it was my own barn. I just it's really I'm uncomfortable doing it in someone else's space and asking them if I could. So just leave video suggestions in the comments. I'm really excited for this video. I'm going to be doing a marker review because I am an artist. In case you guys didn't know that. And so. Let's get straight on to the video. For this video, I'm going to be doing a marker review, and this is my sketch pad. And by the way, guys, I got a brand new video recording background. It's a painting of my horse, and I really like it. For this um, marker review, we're going to be reviewing two markers. We're going to do Prismacolor, and they're going to both going to be skin tone-ish markers. The Prismacolor has one big brush tip and one smaller brush tip, which is harder to move. The other marker is a Windsor and Newton marker, and it has a chisel tip like that, which is kind of like a highlighter, also hard to move, and like the Prismacolor, a big brush tip. And they're both skin tone-ish, so I tried very hard to match the two up, but that was kind of hard. And let's get straight on to the first test. So for this test, we're going to be seeing if the markers bleed through the paper and how far they will bleed if they do bleed. First, we're going to do the Windsor or Newton. So as you can see, I'm just making random lines and shapes and swirlies. And we're going to test both tips of each marker. Now we're going to test the Prismacolor. Now we're 
we're going to start testing the Prismacolor. So I decided to go ahead and do another circle with the thinner tip of the Prismacolor because I feel like I'm kind of messed up on the first one making it not look as good. So now I'm all done doing my shapes and here adjust the lighting so you can see them a little better. I definitely feel like the Winsor & Newton blended and shaded a whole lot better than the Prismacolor did even when I redid the sphere. But with the cubes it was pretty much the same. Those are a lot easier to shade though so I didn't expect them to be a whole two different things. So for the third and final task we're going to see how all the two markers blend together. Because I know that a lot of other artists like me can't afford to get just every single color possible and the most expensive markers so a lot of us will just get a lot of the really common colors that we use in expensive ones and then buy cheaper ones to get a different range in all of those so I feel like it's important that two brands can work together really well and not just run into each other and clash really bad So I'm all done blending them and this is how it turned out. I feel like they blended together really well. I'm surprised by how well they actually blended together. I thought it'd be a lot harder because I did spend almost double the amount on the Prismacolor than I did on the Windsor & Newton and I'm really proud with how it turned out. So overall I definitely feel like these both tied. The Windsor & Newton definitely bled through the paper a lot more than the Prismacolor did. but. As you can tell back here, they both bled through onto the second sheet when I was shading them. And speaking of the shading, the Windsor & Newton definitely did a lot better to Prismacolor at that. So that's one for each of them. And then when I went to blend them together, they both blended together really well and I'm surprised by how well they went together. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment suggestions for future videos down below. I really appreciate those. Especially because I don't have infinite amounts of video ideas. And let me know what you think of doing a wider vlog. And stay safe during the hurricanes. I know there's a lot of them. But we're trying our best to all stay safe. And yeah. Oh, and if you don't like this video, it's okay. Just give it a thumbs down. It gives me feedback so that I don't post poor videos again. Because I don't want to lose subscribers because I'm not doing what you guys want. Thank you guys so much for understanding.